Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Stretch's Tips, Tricks, and Tools. My name is Stretch. Today we're going to be working on this uh, Honda water pump. If you've been following my channel, you you got to see me do all the repairs on this. But I'd like to go inside this water pump and see what it looks like inside there. Never seen one before. Might be interesting. As you can see, a regular socket and a ratchet you really you can't get in there to get to the bolts so probably the simplest way would be get you just a combination wrench go in there break them loose with the open end with the box end then take the open end and do this for a half an hour or you can get you some of these these are ratcheting box wrenches. This happens to be off the Mack truck. It's an RW1618. It's got a half inch on one end, nine sixteenths on the other. Turn it one way to tighten, flip it over, to loosen it up. So you can get that in there on this bolt and you can use it just like you would a ratchet to get them loose. So let's get these bolts out here. Okay, got that off of there. This is another handy tool to have, one of these, uh, it's a dead blow hammer. This is really glued on here. No bolts on the bottom, is there? Nope. As you can see, the last person that had this apart used silicone to glue it back together. be able to get that off of there or not. I'm gonna break it.
Yeah, really glued in there good. The impeller looks pretty good. It's got a couple little chips in it here where, well, actually looks like that was what was made. All three of those things are pretty much the same, but the impeller looks pretty good. Let's see what the pump looks like inside. Inside the pump looks pretty good too, just kind of rusty. Not much to these. This is the centrifugal pump. You don't know uh, much about pumps. This uh, rotor spins in there and it spins in this direction and it causes a vacuum on this side because it's throwing the water out and the water it's not compressible so when it moves it sucks more water in or more air in and the water spins around in this section here and goes out these holes there's two or three different holes here I don't know if you can see them or not where the water goes out one's right there There's another one over on this side, uh, right here, you can see it. A, anyway, when the pump is spinning, it throws that water out and the water ends up coming out of here. And uh, on the back side, it's got a little one-way flapper valve here, so that once the water starts pumping, if you turn the pump off, the water doesn't go back out and it loses its prime. And that's all there is to these little pumps. Pretty simple. This is a little red line pump. It's a model RLVGN-8. Have no idea how old this pump is or how old the Honda motor is. But uh, at one time, I'm sure this had an O-ring sealing it around here, which is long since gone because somebody was in here Possibly to get some big chunks of rock or something out of here When they were cleaning it pumping stuff out Got rocks in there, so We'll get this cleaned up I'll get all this gunk scraped off of here And we'll put some more sealer on here and put it back together This is a scraper I'm going to use All it is is a putty knife with a thick blade that's been ground down and an edge put on it so you can scrape with it. And it works real good for cleaning off old gaskets and scraping whatever you need to scrape. The silicone comes up pretty easy. And that's all there is to cleaning that up on that part. And get this part here cleaned up. Okay, let's get some uh, Get us a little bit of
a nice thin coat of RTV on there. Good idea to get all these bolts started before you tighten any of them up. I feel like I'm uh, feel like I'm on Mr. Peach channel if you ever watch Tube of Pain. Every time he does the video his neighbor goes out and starts mowing his lawn. That's what's happening to me. I don't know why that guy decided today would be a good day, but Okay, there we go. We got her back together. There she is. Hope you found that interesting. See what's inside one of those water pumps. I've never seen them before, so it was interesting for me. If you like this video, keep coming back. Stretches, tips, tricks, and tools. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.